Andreas, I'm really sorry to have to ask you this, but I'm down to my last gold coin and I really want to play that machine in the background there. Can I borrow... What, what's wrong? Um, whoa! Oh, wh what is going on here? Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today me, Treoris and Grim here are going to be helping out a friend of ours in that building that you can just about make out in the distance all the way over there as he has just moved into the biome and has almost finished setting up a brand new arcade. Now this for all of us is going to be very exciting as it's literally just down the desert from us and is going to be packed full of games that we can test before the grand opening. Of course we need to help him out a little bit first so without further ado let's get to it so Grim at Treoris we're going to go and head over to that building over here let's see if we can get a better view of it through this window look at that it looks really cool from the back so let's go Grim um Treoris will meet you there and I am going to take my preferred mode of transport a pig so we're gonna take um our brand new pig friend oh why do I have these doors why I can never get through them but um, hey here's Terence here he is our brand new piggy friend and he's gonna help us get to the arcade over there so let's um pick him up here we go I need the lead because hopefully they've got some kind of um piggy parking where's where's the lead gone it's broken why where is it terence are you hiding it are you he's hiding it guys he was hiding it all along but anyway let's go on to terence here grab his preferred type of fuel and here we go terence you're literally the um the slowest pig on the planet but um we'll get there in good time hopefully we're not too late to help him out come on come on terence let's go come on here we go. Yeah, Grim's a lot faster than you. Granted, he can teleport. But here we go. He's speeding up nicely now. Look at this. Yes. We're going to make it all the way over to the arcade. And we'll meet you there. Oh, my goodness. Look at my cape. It's going absolutely crazy. Come on. Come on, Terrence. You can make it. You can make it, son. We're almost there. And here... Oh, here we go. They have got piggy parking. This is beautiful. Look, um, just right-click on him. And here we go. Let's just tie you up here for a bit, Terrence. We won't be too long. Um, We won't be too long at all, hopefully. So, come on, Grim. Let's go inside. Um, I don't know where... Treoris has gone though. Where's Treoris gone? Oh, he's here already. How did he how did he even manage that? You can teleport and you weren't quicker than him. Anyway, let's go into here. Come on, Grim, you can teleport anyway. And look how amazing this is. The sounds just sound amazing. Now, as you'll notice, there are machines absolutely everywhere, but there are a couple missing, and that is what we are getting employed to do today. We're gonna be building some of these machines so they can actually open in a couple of days' time. So let's come up here and we should be able to meet the um, the arcade manager. Grim, <laughs> how did you even do that, buddy? Um, oh, here he is. Look at him. He's kind of dancing on his on his jukebox there. How are you doing, buddy? Now, we've already talked to him and talked over the phone about what we're doing. And we need to take these machine parts. And there's four left to make, which I mentioned a second ago. Now, these are the materials we're going to need. So let's just remember this recipe quick and build the first machine. So we're going to need seven iron ingots, one emerald, and one glass paint. And we're going to be able to make a penny pusher. And then... If we grab um, seven redstone just like this, one gold and one glass pane, we'll be able to make the next thing. Let's make it just like this. Am I making it correctly? I think I've forgotten the recipe, guys. I think I've forgotten it. Was it like this instead? Oh, no. This is this is embarrassing. Yeah, there we go. We've got to show that we're good workers. Otherwise, we won't get to play on these for free. So we've got the penny pusher number two, which is cool. A nice little and red. And then we have the next recipe. I'm going to put them in my inventory as the recipe because otherwise I'm just going to forget. It's going to be embarrassing. And um, he'll never want us in his arcade ever again. So this is the next recipe. Four redstone, one glowstone, three glass panes, and one obsidian. And this will make the claw machine, which is one of my favorite machines in an arcade. I absolutely love claw machines. And the final one requires this iron, uh, four iron to be exact, four emeralds, and one glass pane as well. And I believe this will be the emerald pusher. So let's just put this like this and like this. Hopefully I've done this correctly. I've probably done it the wrong way around. And there we go. We're going to have to fix this. There we go. Not showing I'm the most efficient worker, but um, at least I got the job done. Anyway, so this is the Emerald Pusher, and now we need to go and install these. Oh, he wasn't looking. It's okay. He didn't see my mistakes. Come on, Grim. Let's go and install these. And actually, we've forgotten to pick up one more thing, which is the currency, which allows us to play. So um, we've got some brand new currency. We've got golden coins, and the recipe for them, or to be able to create them, is two golden nuggets from your traditional Minecraft golden ores. And then you um, put two of these together, and you will get just one golden coin. But um, the arcade manager has been very generous and been able to give us a whole stack of coins to play with. How amazing. This is kind of like our pay so that we can go and play for as long as possible before the grand opening 
at the weekend. Um, oh, they've got pinball machines as well. This is amazing. So beautiful. Um, Treoris, where are you, buddy? Treoris, is he playing on the machines already? I need to give you some gold coins, otherwise you can't play. Where has he gone? Where has he gone? He's actually disappeared. Is he between the machines? We'll get to those guys later. We need to talk to them in a bit. He's actually disappeared. He's probably off in... I can hear him, though. Where are you, Treoris? Oh, there you are. <laughs> He's just gazing out the window. Um, here's some coins for you, buddy, and you can go and play some of the machines. So let's install some of these. This is the Penny Pusher. This is the other Penny Pusher, so there's two different kinds. We then got the Claw Machine and the Emerald Pusher, and now the arcade is complete. So let's actually try some of these. Now, the Penny Pushers, two kinds, the big one and the little one. Um, there are four prizes you can get from each of these, and they start on gold coins, so you can get a minimum and a maximum. Look how excited Grim is to play this Emerald Penny Pusher. We'll get to it in a second. And we will, I promise you. So yeah, four prizes. You can go from gold coins, you can get emerald tokens, which we'll go to in a second. Emeralds and diamonds as well. So your top prize is a single diamond. It's beautiful. And all you need to do to operate them is right click with a gold coin. Unlucky, we got nothing. That, that's a pretty poor show. Let's go again. Yes, we won two coins and they will just pop out the front. Um, Charles dropped his coins. What are you doing? Anyway, this is... Here's my two coins, and um, they will just pop out the front so that you can collect them and carry on playing. <gasps> oh my goodness, we just got the bonus prize. The holy, holy diamond. Yes, we got one coin and a bonus diamond. That's the top prize, Grim. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Let's try out the other penny pusher. Got nothing, nothing. Two coins, three coins. Ah, oh, nothing again. But we are racking up these coins like a boss. So as you can see, there's lots of cool prizes, but we can actually move on to something even cooler, which is the emerald pusher. And there's three prizes you can get out of this. And it starts at emerald tokens, then goes up to emerald blocks. And then the biggest prize is a diamond block. A block of diamonds, nine diamonds, but we need to get some emerald tokens first. And that is where these guys come in the prize clerks now these are in beautiful purple robes and when you right click them they'll bring up this beautiful looking trade and what you need to do is trade 25 gold coins and one emerald for an emerald token now this is actually very very expensive to be honest so luckily we're allowed unlimited amounts of times all the um the machines have been changed that so we can use unlimited amounts of money just for today but um, let's put some coins in here and then one emerald and we will get an emerald token um and you'll be able to use these in the emerald pushers so let's go back to our lucky slot because we got a diamond out of this one let's see how we can do on this one a simple right click for the emerald pusher again we'll be able to activate it and as you can see when you get unlucky you're going to lose literally Literally 25 coins and a diamond and diamonds are so hard to get hold of but um, we're just going to use our unlimited privileges to be able to use this as much as possible what can we get We've got two emerald tokens two emerald coat tokens again three can we get any blocks or emeralds we can get bonus prizes that'd be awesome come on let's spam it let's spam it look how expensive this can rack up you can easily get addicted to this and just run out of emeralds straight away come on show me the goods Show me the goods. Look, we got like 10 in a row of nothings then. We got four emerald tokens as a bonus prize. That is awesome. Look at all these tokens we've got. Oh, God. There's loads of them. Let's keep on spamming this, see if we can get a top prize. Can we get a top prize? Come on. We got something. We got the diamond block, the top prize again. Um, granted, we are spamming it because the machines are a little bit rigged right now, but we got the block of diamond. That is it's amazing grim now there's one more machine to try which is the claw machine now this one's really cool this one only takes gold coins which is a lot better for us and our wallets and all you need to do is right click as normal and you will have a chance to get a beautiful toy now we'll go over the toys you can get in a second but let's see if we can grab one out now um what i've got it set on at the moment is every five out of 100 chances we will get a toy. So this one is going to be your most expensive one. But I think they have the best prizes. Can we get one? See, look how look how long this is taking. Every time my hand dips down, I am taking a coin out of my wallet. That is that is awful. Come on. Please give me a toy. Please. <gasps> we got one. Yes, we got a creeper toy. <gasps> we got one. Where is it? Where is it? Show me it. Ah, oh, there it is. Look how cute it is. <laughs> It's so tiny. Uh, so these you can actually place on the floor. They only are decorative. But listen, listen. 
when you right click the toys they will make noise now i say toys as a plural because you can get a lot more out of here grim is not liking that creeper too much actually he's just gonna walk away from it and i am too because we're gonna see what other toys we can get and there's quite a few you can get the creeper which we just looked at right click and you get a kind of hissing sound you can also get a pig so we'll right click on a pig and it goes as you would imagine we've also got the enderman which is probably my favorite one looks really cool so here we go a nice little enderman toy you can actually get a rubik's cube as well which looks awesome so it doesn't do anything at the moment but hopefully they'll have like a little mini game thing in here later on that'd be awesome and we've also got a nyan cat which is a brand new toy added into this mod listen sounds like a little cat of course look at it if you right click that and got the nyan cat sound that would be absolutely perfect but these are awesome i think my favorite one is the enderman and the nyan cat very cool and there's another way to get these too because as you can see it's so difficult to get them out of the crane machines you can actually buy them from the prize clerks as well so as you can see two emerald tokens will get us a rubik's cube so let's make that trade and when he is happy with um the trade that we have accepted he will hopefully unlock another trade just with any other villager just like this and we will now be able to buy the nyan cat toy for three emerald tokens and that's kind of worth it because we put in, well, like a hundred gold coins, maybe, maybe even more than that. And um, the trade for the emerald coins is 25 and an emerald. So it's probably worth it if you want a specific toy to go ahead and do that. So Grim, I got you. Oh, Grim, Gr what, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing, Grim? I got you a brand new toy. And I think, I think we're done here for today. Let's try and find Treoris. Where are you, buddy? Treoris, where are you? Um, I, oh, he's actually spent his coins this time. He came back and picked them up. Um, well, Grim, we need to find Treoris right now. We can't have him addicted to these machines. I've already spent a lot of money already. I can... Is he here? Is he around here? Treoris? Oh, here he is. He's okay. I thought he'd made his way up into the staff only bit, but he's okay. I think we've completed our, um, a little duty soon, and hopefully the arcade will be open very, very soon for all of us to enjoy. So that is pretty much what this mod has to offer. And if you'd like to see and play some arcade machines for yourself, then please do head to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod. Also, if you have to be new to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, a like would be greatly appreciated too. So thanks again for watching everyone. Me, Grim, and Treoros are going to hang out with the, um, the prize clerks for a little bit and see if we can get these machines mastered. And I... We'll see you all next time. Good. Bye. Bye.